So let's keep searching for Michael's mansion in Namibia. If you guys want to see more fun videos of Mr. Franklin in Namibia, be sure to comment down below. And of course, don't forget to drop a massive thumbs up. And hold on, I think I see the mansion. Yep. Oh, let's go and check it out. Okay, I think there should be Governor Michael's exclusive mansion in Namibia. Oh, I see Governor Michael. Holy moly. He's actually alive. No way. What's up, Franklin? What's up, Michael? Where's Trevor? He went to the market just five minutes ago. He'll be back, though. Whoa. Frank, watch out for the tiger. It's a tiger, right? You hear that? Does Michael have a tiger? Michael, you have a tiger? Franklin, you're not going to believe this, but I got myself this tiger when I first came to Namibia about five months ago. Yeah, a real tiger. His name's Wakanda, and let me tell you, he's got more attitude than half the people I used to work with. Wow, that is crazy. I seriously thought Michael had died. I'm pretty sure most of you guys thought the same thing, right? And apparently he's alive. It looks like he has a new wife. Michael, that's your new wife? Ah, Franklin, you're gonna love this story. It's the kind of thing you'd only see in the movies. After all the drama with Amanda, especially that nonsense where she cheated on me with Chief Keef of all people, I knew I was done with the Hollywood types. I always dreamed that one day, if I ever got married again, it would be to a real grounded woman, a true African queen with that deep chocolatey beauty, someone who's all heart and no games, you know? So here I am in Namibia, trying to stay low key, and I meet this incredible woman this real estate agent, smart as they come, and with a presence that could quiet a room. She starts showing me around, helping me find a place to settle in. And right off the bat, I know I'm just as interested in her as I am in any of the properties. One day, she takes me to this mansion, the one I'm living in now, and I'm in awe, Franklin. The place was perfect, spacious, elegant, everything I didn't even know I was looking for. Only problem was the price tag, $8 million. Not exactly easy for a guy who's supposed to be off the grid, you know? But she gives me this look with that confident smile of hers and says, don't worry, I'll handle it. And somehow, I don't know what kind of magic she pulled, but she talked them down to $6 million, all while adding in upgrades and extras like it was no big deal. By the end of it, I realized I wasn't just buying a mansion. I was falling hard for this woman. And then things got serious, real serious. We started spending time together. And before I knew it, I was meeting her family, getting introduced to everyone. Franklin, I knew I wanted to marry her, but in Namibia, you don't just get down on one knee and hand over a ring. Oh no, it's tradition and they take it seriously. Her father sat me down, looked me dead in the eyes, and said if I wanted to marry his daughter, I'd have to honor their customs. So, what did that mean? A dowry, my friend, a big one. I ended up paying her family 300 cows, 500 chickens, and 50 lambs. Yep, that's right, Franklin. I practically bought out a whole farm to make this happen. And let me tell you, it wasn't easy. Finding that many livestock in a hurry isn't exactly something you're used to doing when you come from Los Santos, but it was worth every single one of those cows, chickens, and lambs. We got married right after, in a beautiful traditional ceremony with her entire family there. And now here she is, Franklin, my wife, standing right here by my side in this mansion she helped me get, starting this new life with me. It's wild to think after everything that hiding out in Namibia would lead me to the woman I'd always dreamed of. Life's got a funny way of turning things around, doesn't wow. it? Wow, that is amazing. Congratulations, Michael. Oh my God, looks like Michael got married to a lady from Namibia. What's the name, Michael? Well, my African queen's name is Milani DeSanta. Wow, Milani DeSanta. Oh my God, nice to meet you, Milani. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. She doesn't want to talk to Mr. Franklin. All right, Michael, let me check out your place, all right? Sure, brother. Then after this, we'll explore Namibia together. Sounds good? Okay, that's a good plan. So after this, Mr. Michael and Mr. Franklin will explore Namibia. Yeah, Michael will show Franklin some nice places in Namibia. Yeah, for now, let's check out Michael's exclusive mansion in Namibia. Apparently, this mansion cost six million dollars. Oh my god, and look at this, man. This is Governor Michael's G500. You gotta be kidding me, guys. This is beautiful, man. Well, let's check out the interior. Man, I thought Michael died. Seriously, guys, apparently, he's alive. He's living his best life in Namibia. Look at this car, bro. Sheesh. This is luxury at its finest. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing. So this should be the garage here. Okay, pretty nice. Let's check out this side. What do we have? Okay, this should be like a chill area here. All right. And I hear a tiger. Where is it? One second. I didn't know Michael has a tiger. That is crazy. Where's the tiger? It's making a lot of noise. Can't see it. Interesting. Where is it? It's right here. <laughs> oh my god. Is it going to fall? Okay, it's okay. It's just moving around. Wow. <laughs> anyway. This is crazy though. Mr. Michael is still alive and is living in Namibia in a beautiful mansion. Oh my god. Wow. Anyway, this should be the chill area here. Pretty nice. And it looks like Michael is drinking champagne. <clears throat> Michael, Michael, Michael. Wow. So this is where Michael and his wife Milani have dinner. Man, and the view from here is amazing. Look at that. Wow. Really, really nice, bro. What a beautiful mansion, I'm telling you. For six million dollars, I think it's worth it. Yeah, we also hey. have a helipad. Pretty nice. Look at this man. And we got some hey. friends here. Hey. This should be Milani's friends. Okay, pretty cool. And also we have a dining table here. Pretty nice. And this should be the kitchen. Bruh, this is beautiful, man. What a beautiful mansion of Governor Michael in Namibia. Do you guys like it? Be sure to comment down below and look at this. I think this should be a statue of Chop. See this right here? <laughs> Pretty cool, bro. Wow, I love this mansion. It's super duper realistic, I'm telling you guys. Wow, and what's this? Oh, okay, this should be the first bedroom. Wow, it's actually spacious. Okay, and look at this. This should be a skin of a tiger. It's actually a blanket. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's super expensive. Yeah, I think it's like $80,000 for this blanket. Mm -hmm. Wow, pretty cool, bro. Mr. Michael is not playing around. You guys can see, this is a luxurious mansion here. Wow, this should be Michael's office. Okay, pretty nice. We have some books right here. Alrighty. And obviously, this is a balcony. And you can enjoy the beautiful view of this mansion. Look at this, guys. We're officially in Namibia. This is the closest map of Namibia I could find out there. This is super duper nice. Wow. Okay. What about here? Ah, this is where we have the bathtub and the toilet and also the washing machine. Okay. Pretty nice, man. It's a very good design. I really like it. Wow. Okay, we have a living room right here. Pretty nice. And I think this should be another bedroom. This room should be for Michael and Melani. Yeah, it's much more private than the other one. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a beautiful mansion in Namibia. I'm telling you guys, I love it. What's this? Oh, we have another bedroom. Wow, okay. So we have three bedrooms in this mansion. Pretty nice, man. We have a beautiful TV. We have some speakers right there. Wow, I love this design. Super duper realistic. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Be sure to comment down below. And I think I can go up here. Let's go up and see what we have. 
but this is crazy man, I cannot believe Michael DeSanta is still alive, it's crazy, I thought he died, wow, what's this, okay this should be the rooftop, pretty cool bro, look at that, we have Michael there relaxing, having fun with Milani, hurry up brother, I want to show you around this city so that you can buy a new mansion before Halloween. I'm so excited to see you, Frank. Okay, bro. No problem. Man, Michael is excited to see Franklin. It's been a long, long time. Trust me, guys. It's been a very long time. So if you guys want to see more of Michael and Mr. Franklin, be sure to comment down below, all right? And finally, we have a jacuzzi. Wow, this is beautiful, man. What a beautiful mention of the former governor of Los Santos, Michael DeSanta. If you guys like this exclusive mention of Michael in Namibia, be sure to comment down below and of course don't forget to subscribe, like and turn notifications on. So I think for now, Mr. Franklin and Michael will explore Namibia and I think you guys will definitely get to see that in the next video. Let's go. Alright, now Franklin will not stay that long in Namibia, he has to go back to Mia, alright? Mia is about to give birth in two weeks now. So yeah, hope you guys are excited. Let's go.